What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and we are back with another box of Evolving Skies. Uh, this box is for my patron, uh, one of the best named patrons out there, Fun on a Bun. All right, let's get right into it. I'm going to try to keep this uh, opening definitely much quicker than our previous one. Uh, 20 minutes is kind of a long video, so we're going to go pretty quick through the packs. Uh, if I just hit the uncommons, jump to the... Jump to the rare slot and then go to the next pack. So fun on a bun uh, said uh, he's been having some tough luck with this set so far. I think he had a booster box with only five hits. It did have a secret rare, but I think it was like a, a floss glass or something. So hopefully we could do a much better than that. All right, let's just go right to it. I feel like the Biggest thing is like obviously the rare slot and then there's some cool uncommons that we're looking for. Pincer, Spirit Mask, Toad, and then a Gold Duck to start things off. Let's see how we're gonna do the piles and let's keep going. So a huge shout out to all the patrons and appreciate the support as at this time we are not accepting any new patrons or at least the VIP tier. Uh, Stormy Mountains, there we go. That you have to be to sign up for a break just because I do not have enough boxes for that. But all right, pack number three so far, not so much. And uh, yeah, I have to say, this, this set so far seems like a lot of fun. Uh, I feel like there has a good mix of a lot of different stuff to pull. Obviously, the evolutions are a big hit. Uh, but then you also have that Rayquaza in there as well. I asked uh, Fun on a Bun what he, what he was looking for. He said, uh, not too picky, but um, wouldn't mind the Rayquaza V Alt Art, Leafeon V Max, which I'm right there with you on that one. And there's one more that <laughs> escapes me. Oh! <laughs> Espeon V Max to start. No worry, nothing happened. Uh, I do feel like the card quality feels really good. Uh, but my boxes so far have been a little OC. You can kind of see how thick that border is up there. Espeon VMAX, good start. If I can get that into this sleeve. And there we go. Our first box that we opened, um, kind of think I'll give it like a B, solid B, uh, where we did get a Super Rare and Alt Art. If you haven't checked out the video, recommend you do so. All right. Reverse is a Crustle, the Crab Rock. Ooh, okay. Secret Rare Energy. These feel like um, they combined gold energies with like shiny. <laughs> These sparkles remind me of like the shinies from uh, like Hidden Fates and stuff. Uh, looks like it's definitely got that similar centering. Ooh, this one is straight up. But uh, always happy to pick up a reverse energy. Not the most exciting thing, but I feel like the secret rare energies age pretty well. You know, when the hype dies down for some of the um, other secret rares that are Pokemon and stuff. Um, actually, supporters I feel like do pretty well long term, but then energies, I mean, I feel like that's the ultimate way to swag out your deck as far as energies are concerned. Um, but as far as secret rares, you know, I kind of call that like mid tier. Obviously, there's a lot of them that are. All right, we got a secret rare, but it's not one of the ones I want. Energies are kind of like solid, um, solid pulls, but definitely leaves a little bit more to be desired. And nothing from the pack. But two hits into the box. Again, I do, I'm glad that we're getting the secret rares out early so we don't have to sweat it. And we can keep that, um, you know, keep looking out for that double secret rare pack and then of course, the alternate arts, there's a good amount of alternate arts, like all the non V Max ones, I believe, are not secret rare. So, still a lot of potential in this box. All right, let's see what we got. The reverse is a cute Teddy Ursa. Girlfriend likes that one. And then, ooh, Rayquaza V, just the regular one. Oh, that's pretty cool. I feel like, um,. I didn't know Rayquaza could, you know, like attack from his hand. <laughs> Looks like a uh, Dragon Ball Z is about to do like a key blast or something. All right, let's get you into a sleeve. Let's see the regular V's. Uh, 
of similar centering issues, which is kind of disappointing. I feel like the initial wave actually has sometimes has issues like vivid voltage comes to mind where the my first wave of boxes um, I actually was hesitant to kind of like do breaks with them just because of the poor quality of the on the back those it's just like a lot of edge wear and stuff like that which is very very frustrating and then you know if you get a nice pull uh, it's pretty brutal if, especially if you're into like getting your cards graded See how we're doing on time. We got a cute Zorua back when EV's Heroes came out. A lot of people wanted these taken out or sent to them. Then a Thievel. Nothing there. Speaking of grading, if you did submit any cards through me, I think right now they are in October as far as working through their backlog. Uh, my next wave of stuff was submitted or entered into their system in January and then a lot more or December and then a lot more kind of like maybe it was February or March actually so still got quite a while for most of the submissions from from patrons Salamance a lot of dragon types Ooh, Articuno I recently picked up some of the pre-release promos I think they should be in soon We'll do a mail day video soon to kind of like show off what we've been picking up over the past couple months here and there. All right, we got Pikachu, a shark, and a flapple. All right, the, the big apple is a dragon type. I did not know that. It's uh, good for that apple. Okay, so then um, someone on, on the Discord channel kind of like rec said that, you know, oh, there's a new grading service, uh, kind of recommend I check it out, TGA. And um, so I figured I'd try it. They kind of boast a pretty quick turnaround. I think it was like 30 business days. Uh, so I did a, I think it was like a 50 card submission, pretty good size, but nothing too crazy, just to see how I like how the slabs come out and maybe before I submit like anything too extravagant, get a feel for how like that service is being, uh, ooh, I think we got something welcomed into the market as far as like how things act like, you know, obviously if your PSA is number one, uh, there's always Beckett that's, you know, pretty, I don't know, it's not up there with PSA, uh, CGC, which I feel like there's a lot more of than I feel like Beckett as far as what I can tell. All right, Umbreon V, very nice. Pull another evolution. Okay, so far I feel like our notable hits are that Secret Rare Energy and then a Espeon, was Espeon VMAX, I think? So, no alternate arts so far. I'm curious how everyone else is doing as far as pull rates have been go, um, regards to get, basically getting that, those alternate arts, or I suppose Secret Rare. Uh, the one box I did open for myself, I think had like nine hits, but no secret rare. So that was, that felt, uh, that hurt. <laughs> and uh, I feel like the only silver lining was, all right, I took the hit for the patrons and at least that box is out of the case and they don't have to worry about that. We got our second VMAX, Trevenant VMAX. Hmm, pretty cool looking card. Let's see, missing the forest is active 40 more damage for each supporter in your opponent's discard pile. Okay. I feel like that count should be should be a good size, right? Usually you support every turn. And then max tree for straight 180. Alright, last pack for this half of the box. But yeah, final thought about that TJ service. Um We'll see how it goes. Uh, they kind of have like different color slabs, which I guess is kind of cool, but I'm actually not a fan. Uh, just because, let's say you have, you need like a couple more for to complete your set, and then you find one on eBay or something, and it's a different color. You Like someone graded their stuff with a different color scheme than you did, and I can see that being a little frustrating.
All right, Suellus. Oh, okay, we got a full art supporter. Very nice, copycat. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw a card for each card in your opponent's hand. Oh, I kind of like that. Uh, what is that? Leon, um, Rose, and Marnie that are being copied. Pretty uh, well-designed card, I will say, or well-designed art. So let's take a look at the back. Yeah, the centering. I mean, I feel like this is actually quite bad. Um, but I imagine like almost everything in this print wave has similar centering issues. Um, so it's like not good and it's probably, you know, not special. You know, it's not where it's like egregious. All right, so second half of the box is going well. That was a green code card. Smeargle into a shark. I think we got a V card here. Another cute little teddy bear. Into a noive. Oh, that was the other alt art that <laughs> that uh, Fun Art Bun was looking for was the Noivern. That one looks pretty cool. I think I saw briefly part of a Darium's video when they referred to it as the Batman alt art, and I definitely see it. Especially in Neuvern too, so that's like perfect. And I wonder if that was intentional. Alright, Lily Pup. It's like he's uh it's thinking of kinda of like a relay race and just kinda of like tag the person so they can start the race. All right, not too many of the uh, Flappies and um, Stormy Mountains so far. A Flutad, Flabebe, into a Galarian Zapdos. What is everyone's opinion on the Galarian birds? I feel like they're not as popular as I would have expected. I am still of the opinion I like the Zapdos. Um, it's a chocobo, so what's not to love about that? Evolution count is only at two. Although I feel like the alt arts are the only ones that really matter. Alright, lantern. Into a apple again. Another dragon type apple. And that. Oh, I'm not sure if there's a gold washing machine. Uh, I don't even know if that's a good card or anything, but uh, I feel like that would be disappointing. Uh, disappointing secret rare to get a Ted Bull into a Gyarados. I actually forgot Gyarados was in this set, and I feel like this art, I mean, Gyarados is not, there's not a lot to Gyarados, uh, so maybe it's hard to always create new arts, but this feels very similar to the Hidden Face, which there was two versions of, and I have trouble discerning those two apart from each other. So, yeah, not too crazy about the art, but again, not sure how much you can do with a... Gyarados is kind of like a giant shrimp kind of thing with no, uh, no, no arms or anything. Oh, that's pretty cute. All right, Zinnia's Resolve. I think I've seen the full art version of this, and that one looked, I think, pretty cool as well. Pinsir, I feel like Pinsir is going to be like that rare that seems like you pull so many copies of. All right, I feel like we're winding down. Still no alt art, but I feel like already, um, maybe not a B, maybe like a B minus if nothing else crazy comes out of this, where we did get a secret rare. And again, I feel like it's definitely not one of the chases, but always a solid pull. And I feel like the secret rare energies are always um, good things to have in the collection. It's, I feel like it's like the safe one of the of the secret rares. And then we did get a full art supporter in that copycat Sableye into the smear goal. So in between like videos, I've been thinking about, all right, boy, well, kind of continuing to think about how I feel about this set. And um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I think it's really hard to get, you know, get to your goals, your collecting goals via 
pull impact, although that's always the case, but I feel like this one uh, more so, or but let's, or I'll jump right to kind of like an analogy or comparison. It's like reminiscent of Cosmic Eclipse with the alternate arts and then Hidden Fates as well in that there are a lot of solid, um, you know, it's not just, oh, Zard or Bust kind of thing. Like uh, Champion's Path and to a large degree Shining Fates. And there's just, anytime you have a lot of evolution, it's always the case, you know, there's a number of solid pulls. And as far as I can tell from TCG play, like the most popular one being that Rayquaza Altar. And there's, there's two of them, which, so I, I think this is a really nice set. And, you know, even though I'm usually not too crazy when they just keep adding like so many variants, um, so many like secret rare variants, but these, this, the way they're approaching alt arts, I really like so far. Uh, you kind of have your base things, which may be good for if cards are relative, rel uh, good for competitive play. Um, and like the fact that not all of them are secret rares, I think is a good sign. Although that doesn't necessarily mean you get one every box, which, which is kind of interesting. A Galatian. I actually think uh, as far as the base arts go, I think Glacian might be up there as one of my favorites. Evolution number three. But without, you know, knowing what any of the pull rates are, um, I'm content with kind of like where the direction of like this hobby is going in regards to uh, kind of like the max rarity kind of things. Or not max rarity at this point. Uh, but like, what what are the chase cards? Ooh, a reverse Stormy Mountain. And then a Shift Tree. All right, fun on a bun. We have three packs. Let's do a quick checkpoint and where we're at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so that's a pretty decent number. We do got a Secret Rare and a Full Art Supporter. So I feel like, all right, this is like the the bonus, you know, it's all all extra from here. I think nine was about what I got in the previous boxes or previous box. I right, Marshall and way better than, oh man, five hit box, that would be so brutal. Aroma Lady definitely triggers me still and will for some time. And especially for us, in a set that will probably be opening for a while. Don't like it. Don't like it. All right, Hitmon Chan to an Ampharos. There's another mountain. Okay, last pack. We saved a Duraludon. Very strange Pokemon, if you ask me. Here we go. Fun on a bun. Thank you so much for your support on Patreon. Patreon. All right. Slow roll this one. Cute little bird, a hermit crab thing. And two, ah, just a thievil. So that's gonna do it for this opening. I'll give this one a B minus. Definitely seals, uh, doesn't feel like it's a, better than a C, but um, you know, we got, we did get that secret rare. Again, I would call it like uh, middle of the, you know, middle of the way. And then a full art supporter. So that's gonna do it for me today. As always guys, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. It does help out the channel. I'm Wanted Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.